Improv comedy, the art of creating scenes on the spot using quick wit and team cooperation, spread from the stage to the classroom long ago. Now, the improvisation business is getting a new boost from hobbyists and the corporate world. I am Fabio. <laughs> and I would like to make him a very special lady tonight. The Second City, known for launching stars like Steve Carell, John Belushi, and Tina Fey, isn't the only theater that helped create this market, but it's the savviest at mining it. The troupe that launched in 1959 in a former laundry has grown into the University of the Improv and Sketch Comedy world. Today, about 5,500 students are enrolled in classes at the theater's flagship center in Chicago's Old Town neighborhood, along with smaller outposts in Los Angeles and Toronto. That's nearly four times the size of the Second City student body 10 years ago. Business is booming, and the selling point is the most important commandment of improv, yes and. The phrase refers to the way team members must react to each other's spontaneous ideas in the affirmative to build a scene together. It's an increasingly attractive concept for people looking to connect with fellow humans and unplug from the digital world. Despite appealing and catering to all comers, the training center remains a magnet for aspiring comedy stars. And in August, the Second City is opening the Harold Ramis Film School, billing itself as the first film program geared specifically toward comedy. The one-year, non-accredited program costs $15,000 and is starting with a class of 15 students. What a great retreat, Mr. Harrison. We all had a really good time. Thank you, Mr. Harrison. Great idea. All the top improv comedy companies also offer performances and team-building workshops for corporate clients. Second City goes one step further by diving into the world of business training videos. Its library of videos, known as Real Biz Shorts, are licensed out to hundreds of clients including MasterCard and Starbucks. Writers and cast members at the Second City work on these videos, along with the occasional famous face. A manager friend of mine needs a little help. Recently, Colin Mockery, a fixture on the TV series Whose Line Is It Anyway, starred in a slew of shorts. These kinds of offstage businesses helped Second City double its annual revenue over a decade, from $28 million to $60 million last year. Just keep it up. <laughs>